Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I am on the public test server to have an early look at the Cauterizer. So the Cauterizer is a unique chainsaw and it can drop uh, as a raid reward. You can either get it as the weapon, you know, as is, or you can actually get it as a plan to craft the weapon either way. And it is tradable. It does have uh, four star effects. So it is vampires with extra critical damage and bonus critical charge. And then the fourth star is the great, greater the number of combat targets around you, the greater your damage output, which sounds awesome. And maybe it is. I actually don't know. It, it's a bit ambiguous, right? It doesn't tell you how many targets, uh, like if it caps, you know, maybe after 10 targets, it doesn't go up anymore. I don't know. It doesn't tell you what percent it goes up per target. Maybe it's 1%, maybe it's 20%. Probably not. It's probably like Furious where it's maybe five, but I don't know. And I also don't know how close the targets have to be to count in that calculation. This also has increased AP cost. So a regular chainsaw uh, base, and that's how this is, there's no mods on it, would have an AP cost of four. This has an AP cost of five. It has minus five durability. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know if that means it loses a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that means in terms of, uh, it, it does have some effect on durability, but I'm not really sure how big the effect is or which direction. Minus to me seems like maybe it wears out quicker. It also has plus five or plus 12 fire damage and plus 5% armor penetration. Now, what's the uh, what's the downside of this? So the downside, number one, those effects cannot be changed. It just has what it has. You can't uh, switch out the legendary effects. And so we've got uh, bonus critical charge and bonus critical damage, which normally are effects I like, but on melee weapons, as near as I can tell, they don't do anything. You could trigger critical hits, but if you look at the floating numbers, they don't change. So what I think is you have here is uh, second and third star that actually don't do anything. Now, if they ever make it so that that works, that would actually be an amazing combination. The other downside is you are limited to mods on this. So with a regular chainsaw, I would want to put on a dual bar and a flamer mod. Those don't, uh, those you cannot apply to this. So, I mean, this already does flame damage, but a flamer mod also adds flame damage over time. So here we've got a furious, it's just a regular chainsaw, but I've got it modded with the dual bar and the flamer. So the base damage on the uh, cauterizer is higher. It's 84 versus 66. So it's, it's more base damage, which is nice. The fire damage is a little more, so that's pretty nice as well. But you can see on this, we're getting 190 fire damage over three seconds, which you can't get on the cauterizer because you can't put the, the flamer mod on it. But what you can do is you can put the longbow bar on it, which you could also put on, you know, you can put that on a regular chainsaw. So this is kind of the best you're going to do uh, in terms of damage. So I've got the longbow bar on it, which adds bleed damage, 53 bleed over five seconds, which, you know, obviously that's a lot less than what you get with the fire damage. Uh, and it's a longer duration. So it's not really uh, the best trade. However, chainsaws just in general, even just right out of the gate with no mods, they tend to kill stuff pretty quickly, even if they're not legendary. So I don't really think that, I mean, it seems like an issue, but in terms of actually killing stuff, I'm not sure that it will be. The downside about putting the bow bar on it is I don't, at least me personally, I think this actually looks better just unmodded. I just love the, uh, and that is one thing I think this does far and above, you know, the regular chainsaw is it just looks so much better. I think this is such a neat design. Uh, it is kind of strange though. I mean, that does look like it's got some sort of energy field around the blade, but uh, there's no energy damage. It's just ballistic and fire. So, but still, I, I think in terms of a design, this is a clear winner. And in terms of damage, it is a two-handed weapon. So we'll, we will be using the slugger perks and we'll be using food buffs. I've got, I've got uh, Deathclaw Wellington for extra strength and Tasty Mutant, uh, Mutant Hound Stew for extra melee damage. Also have Twisted Muscles for extra melee damage as well. And we'll be using hack and slash. And because this has such a high attack rate, that should trigger quite a lot. All right, so first I'm just gonna test this unmodded without the, uh, the long bow bar, just because I think this looks better. Uh, I just like the look of this rather than the big bow bar. And honestly, damage over time, I don't know that it's all that important. This has such a high attack rate. You know, unless you're fighting a boss or something, I don't really think it's gonna be all that uh, impactful. <laughs> I mean, stuff pretty much dies, you know, instantly. At least most regular enemies do. And uh, yeah, so so damage over time. I mean, it's uh, what damage over like five. Okay, that's one thing I have noticed about the the chains. Okay, come on. One thing I've noticed about the chainsaw though, and one of the reasons I don't like using it just in general is that it is rather buggy. There'll be times when I go to attack with it and it just is completely unresponsive. It doesn't do anything at all. And uh, another reason I'm using it in first person because I find it to be pretty buggy in third person. I, I prefer to do melee in third person. So that's kind of disappointing. Uh, let's see, here we go. We've got that. So, but when it's working, I gotta say when the chainsaw is working, it is a joy. 
Got another one right here. Well, there we go. See, that's another thing. So I'm... <laughs> I did the attack and it brought the, the chainsaw down and nothing happened. Uh, another bug that I've encountered before is it makes the chainsaw noise and it doesn't... Uh, it, and nothing actually happens. Where that's, that's another bug. But so far, I mean, this is just making quick work of just absolutely everything. And they're not really in groups, so... There we go. So... It's definitely, it's definitely a chainsaw. I mean, that's one thing I will say. It is definitely a chainsaw, and I don't really feel like I'm missing out, even though I don't have the mods I would like to use, you know, like the longbow. And obviously different, different um, legendary effects. I mean, I prefer power attack damage on weapons like this, just because all of the attacks you're doing are power attacks. So that will give you 40% more damage on just absolutely everything. But honestly, I don't really feel like I'm missing out. Everything feels pretty good so far. All right, let's finish off the last of these enemies and go... Oh, okay, there's a time when it wasn't just... Oh, you know what? I probably... I might have gotten staggered. And maybe that has some weird, you know, weird thing where the stagger doesn't actually show up as a stagger, but it shows up by the chainsaw just not working. That's also possible. All right, let's try a little third person and see how this goes. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see the chainsaw, but you'll be able to see the effects of chainsaw. So let's do this. And there we go. <laughs> it works. It works just like, now that's the nice thing about it being, okay. And there's a time it's not, uh, there we go. See, and that's what I find with the chainsaws. I kind of have to fight it a little bit to get it to work. And maybe there's something I miss. Oh, there we go. And hack and slash is actually not triggering all that much. Kind of surprising since it's a, uh, there we go. It is hard to stay in vats with the, with the auto melee weapons I have. See, <laughs> there we go. Just, and yeah. Chainsaws are frustrating. There's a reason I don't like auto the weapons just in general. Has nothing to do with the damage. It's uh, just has to do with the fact that they're just a buggy mess in general. There we go. Gun Fu is a good thing to have when you're using these close up together. As you can see though, the damage when, when, when things are working, which is, there we go. When things are working, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's really, it's great. It's a whole lot of fun when things are working properly. But in terms of looks, I mean, that is such a cool view. You're looking down, you know, if you have to use this in first, first person, you don't have to. But if you're going to use it in first person, at least you got one heck of a view. That, uh, the, the blade on that is just so cool. And it seems to be a lot more reliable. Uh, I'm sure people that use these could know. You could tell me uh, if first person is just a, way, a lot more reliable way to use the, uh, the auto melee weapons. All right, it's time to try the long bow bar on this thing. So that should add a little bit more. It adds a little bit of uh, bleed damp. Okay. Come on. Okay, come on. Just doesn't want to engage. I just, yeah, that's, that's so frustrating. You have this thing. It's just you go to attack and then nothing happens. Now, thankfully, most enemies aren't, you know, they're not going to one tap you. So it's not really an issue if there's a little bit of a delay. Uh, it's more of just a frustration thing. Uh, I'm looking to do like instant devastating and it locks onto an enemy that's too far away. Instant devastating damage. Level 75. Level, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Anyone want seafood? That was a uh, very quick work and they'll just be easy. It's just a matter of tapping them and that's uh, that's it. All right, let's see how we do against a Mirelur Queen, a big target that probably will stagger us a lot. And let's see if we can, okay. Um. Uh, Okay, now I have a broken limb, I guess, and maybe that was keeping me from... Jeez, this thing is just doesn't want to engage at all. That's that's kind of frustrating. Let's see, now if I go into VATS, there we go, because VATS will give me... Jeez, it will not stay engaged. There we go. Hack and Slash isn't really triggering, which is kind of funny. I mean, it should be triggering 50%, and it just isn't. So I'm losing out on a lot there. That could be a server issue. As, but you can see, we're still... Quick work, even though it's kind of a buggy mess, it's still quick work. And there you have it, an early look at the cauterizer. Uh, to me, it feels just as effective as any other chainsaw, so even though it doesn't necessarily have the effects on it that I would want, it still kills stuff pretty quickly, but it's also just as frustrating to use as any other chainsaw. It just is so buggy where it just doesn't want to work sometimes for whatever reason. But once you connect, stuff really dies uh, rather quickly. And again, this should be part of the December update is when this will go live. It'll go live with raids. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.